Lucas Kids, it's Lucas Kids, it's Lucas Kids. Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. Welcome to another episode of Lucas Kits. We're pulling out an old one, real old one. I probably purchased this kit in the early 90s, and that was around the time that we started seeing these old Johan kits kind of dry up. The thing about the Johans, if you guys are around in the 80s and 90s do building model cars, remember we'd get these Johan kits, and what was so cool about them is they just never changed. You know, they they pretty much used box art from the early 70s, late 60s, as you can tell from this one, and they really went quite unchanged for a long time. And they had a series of old pro stockers. They were really cool. Um, they did the Sox and Martin Pro Stockers, and there was a Mercury version of the Maverick, the Comet, that they did kind of a rendition of Fast Eddie Sharpman's, which originally they did Fast Eddie Sharpman's, and then they changed it to this box art right here. That was the more common one, but one day at a hobby shop, I think I was in Blacksburg, Virginia, with my old buddy slash boss, Dennis, and I happened to come across this thing at this hobby shop and was like, hey, 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 I've wanted one of these, and snagged it, and never did anything with it. I just kind of, uh, you know, held on to it with the plans of one day building a Maverick. And my plan with this kit was always to, the old modified production Maverick from the late 70s that was in Superstock Magazine of Arlen Fadley's. And uh, just recently I located a guy who makes the decals for it. So finally I think I can build that model or get those decals and put them in this box and put it back up on the shelf. So that's the story behind the kit, where I found it, what I ultimately want to do with it. Now I guess what we will do is take a nice gander at it see uh, what a nice kit it is for the times the thing about the johan kits there was just something about them they were kind of ahead of their times in a lot of detail there's some basic stuff but then there's a lot of cool detail so if you haven't ever checked one of these out this is really cool and i know nowadays to get your hands on one of these they go for a lot of money and there is next to no chance you will ever see reproductions of these again some weird stuff happened with the uh with the toolings many years ago and they went missing and so it ended up being that we're just we're just never going to see these again so let's get in and take a look at this bad boy and to start off with the box art and we can see just a really neat painting of a of a drag strip and this is the decal sheet that's in this kit making up a, a you know it's a made-up car nothing of an actual vehicle back on here they would always have these really cool drawings of all the cool parts that came in this kit show you what you had and you got a full roll cage and the sport steering wheel and the high-rise manifold shifters all this stuff is in there and it's a pretty pretty accurate uh accurate illustrations of what comes in this kit and on the side there you know you've got the same thing that's on the uh, top of the box and then there'll be a little a little briefing on what the heck this vehicle is. If you want to take a read or take your time to read it, go for it. What kind of a, a different color version of the same thing that's on the top of the box. So there we go. Let's take a look on the inside. Pretty much a good shot of what's everything in the box. Let's start taking everything out. Um, it looks to me that I don't have the instruction sheet. So we can't go over that. But if you look at my earlier episodes of Lucas Kits, you will see what basically Johan or Johan instruction sheets look like. Pretty decent illustrations. They're pretty accurate to, to how the models are. So we're basically gonna start with the body here, but uh, since I've got the chassis in there, you can kind of see how basic the chassis is. Um, you've got everything molded in. There's really nothing else that comes with the front suspension so it's pretty basic and it also is nothing racy about it it's pretty much uh, showing what a stock uh, underside of a maverick would be let's pop this out everything fits really tight together though that's the cool thing that you get to see there and pull the interior out it looks like a maverick actually pretty pretty darn accurate it looks the dimensions look any of you guys who have real mavericks you tell me how they do these things build up into a pretty looking maverick and you've got your windshield wipers there that are on there if you want to do race car you got to get those off that can be a pain real 
basic blobs of uh, your door handles, but it's pretty typical of uh, the way door handles were done on these models back then. But all in all, just a very, very, very good looking body, which is, you know, the main thing. That is the main part of a model. We'll go with the interior next because we just popped that out of the body and the interior is a good uh, basic rendition of uh, what you'd see in a stripped down race car. You can see that there's carpet in there engraved and you got door panels, light engraving, but no back seat. That's cool that they do that. No back seat. We like no back seat. Basic glass. There is some in there we'll probably find. I believe that this being a drag car also came with separate uh, side glass for the door glass, the door glass basically. Next we've got the chrome tree. So everything on the chrome tree looks like you have two different types of valve covers. You got your overhead cam Ford engine, the big Ford engine camera, and you also have your boss valve covers right there. Pretty nice boss valve covers. As a matter of fact, Probably the nicest looking boss engines come out of these Johan kits. They're really, really sweet. And you got the pretty decent carburetors. They're Holly Dominators. They're like two piece. You, you got the, uh, the main body there. And you've got a top portion. If you drill those out, you can make a pretty decent looking Holly out of these. They, they actually uh, don't do too bad. And there's your steering wheel. And here's something that's that's interesting, kind of great, and kind of ugh, not so great, is these wheels. They really are beautiful. Mag five slot, Anson five slots, or American Racing, I don't know what they were depicting, probably Anson more than likely. Really sweet, sweet looking wheels. Problem is, there is no lug detail. That was always the bummer about these. Just great looking wheels and uh it's like the chrome is kind of filled up on this wheel here this rear wheel the the holes but quite actually you just knock that chrome out of there and they're they're fine you can see how that's all open if you can really see how that wheel is they're really beautiful wheels but unfortunately there's just no lug detail i have taken little resin uh lugs and and put them in there before and got them to look pretty decent and you've got a nice grill here and front bumper the headlights, of course, are molded in. That was very typical of 60s and 70s promo style models. There's the um, rear bumper is missing off the chrome tree. It came off and there was another part. This part right here, which is the tail lights, basically tail light bezels. There's your, your rear gas cap and the rear reverse lights. It would come with your red portion of your lights your tail lights there and they just fit right in pretty pretty slick they pop in i don't want to break nothing or force these together right yet but they fit together pretty well and then they go right into the back there of the car through the th through the rear portion there and just fill that whole area up and you've got your even your key Block, keyhole lock out, block out right there or that'll pop through the body right there and give you that detail and there are a ton of loose parts in this kit and missing parts unfortunately uh, sometimes I go through a kit and take something out and I don't I don't know why the heck I do that I'll probably be able to retrieve it but I am missing the engine block which is a bummer because I really really like the engines out of these I'd love to show those to you but uh, I could either not put this video out or I could hunt one down. I don't know how long it would take me to find or I'll just show you at another time. The engines are, the engine halves are gone. Also the tires, um, I have one rear slick, which the Johan rear slicks were always really cool. I, I think they were outstanding looking early 70s pro stock tires. Uh, they would be these Firestone Drag 500. You can see the lettering on there, pretty good. But what was also neat is you had this back piece that popped in and it would say Goodyear on it. So depending on which side you wanted to put out, you could have your Firestone or your Goodyear. I'm so sorry I don't have that stuff to show you. 
that kind of makes kind of a Lucas kits is kind of a bummer, but uh, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll make up in the next one. I'll find that. I'll find that stuff and show you it again. But trust me, engine's really cool. But I do have some cool stuff to show you that are some of the engine parts. Um, and I noticed one half of my of my transmission is missing. But there's, you know, just a typical four-speed transmission. And you've got the separate bell housing. Bit of flashing there. They were known for that. Really cool intake. Look at that high-rise intake. Separate intake and valley portion. And then you had your top plenum and the top portion and all this would all go together to be your intake manifold all right there and it would make a really really cool looking intake let me get that stuff out of the way can you see that it would make a very 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 good looking intake manifold and you have your headers four pieces two per side and there are the collectors see that those are the collectors for the headers and then over here you have all your roll cage pieces. You see that? And there, there's your main loop and everything. We have a distributor cap there, or hold distributor. And I think that's the oil filter and a couple other engine pieces. There's your, your pulleys. We have some uh, wheelie bars. It looks like there's a miss shot right there. Whoops. Right here is where the, the spacer plate for the bell housing and the engine. And you have your firewall, very basic, not much there on the firewall, and your core support. And there's the radiator. I mean, look at that detail on the radiator, though. There's some places where they're really soft on the detail, and there's some places that are really, really good on the detail. The dash is extremely accurate for a dash out of a Ford Maverick or Mercury Comet. There's usually two of them, but there's only one in this kit. Really, really nice fiberglass racing seats. This out there's those uh, door glass that I told you about. They fit right up in there. Go right in. They fit perfectly into the body. You glue them up into place right there, and they will give you having full glass. Because on a drag car, you got to have the windows up, so you have the full glass. We got the hood here with this huge, huge pro stock uh, hood scoop. You know the way they had them in the 70s; those were real common. That's kind of a bummer, though. You don't have a regular flat hood to work with um, if you want to do something a little more normal or uh, you know street. Fits really good on the body. That's a cool look. And last, but definitely last, is your decals. There's not much to really write home about on these. You got your name of the car right there. They're kind of, you know, these are old decals. They probably would fall apart putting them into the uh, water. And it's really, I mean, they're, they look okay, but decals that we have today, you know, can't really see a use in these. I have built these before. They go together quite well. They really do go together quite well. Um, if you have the money and you see these for sale and I know they go for a lot of money again we talked about that but if you really wanted to do a Maverick and it's the only way you could go about it well I I highly recommend them they are really really cool there you have it that is the Johan Maverick or Johan Maverick I hope you enjoyed looking at this kit thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode remember we got our Teespring store. Go on there and get your shirts and your mugs and your shirts and uh, who knows what else. I don't know. We may put some more stuff on there. Right there are my Patreons. I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Every bit helps. It helps us get our needs filled that we need to keep producing these episodes for you and keep the content rolling. I just want to thank you guys for your support. And another great way to support the channel is just give us a like on this and every episode that you do watch on this channel sub to the channel all that helps us out so much the channel's grown we're getting more subs we're getting noticed more that's going to help us bring more content out there and uh keep blasting away all your guys' suggestions i uh i definitely uh read all that stuff and 
I've gotten a lot of great ideas from you guys. It's given me the opportunity to make some really cool videos. And if you haven't, jump on over to our Facebook group, Model Car Hobby Headquarters. We got a ton of builders over there and there is just every day new stuff is posted. There are such cool models, bunch of great builders on there. You have any questions, don't be scared. If you're just starting out, you don't feel like you build that well. Nobody cares. They want to see what you do and they'll help you get inspired. And you want to learn anything, uh, those guys, there's, I learn stuff from those guys. I don't know everything. Believe me, most people that know me personally will tell you, I don't know everything. Thanks a ton for your support. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.